It's your storm tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Jeff Kelly. You know, I debated whether to put this shot up or not because you're probably going, I know, I've seen it. <laughs> it's terrible. The air quality bad, but that's our smoke out there today. So we threw that up for you. All right, let's talk about a little more positive thing. The solar eclipse coming our way on Monday. Looking forward to this. Since 1979, I haven't seen this, and look what we got. Mostly sunny conditions. Well, except for when we're in totality there. <laughs> oh, boy, this is going to be fun. So weather-wise, we're in pretty good shape for uh, Monday. You can see where the clouds are going to be a little thicker over towards Seattle. Of course, uh, Oregon coast is where it all starts off. And then you get into the Midwest, and they're going to be awfully cloudy. Some of these areas have the longest uh, uh, area of totality where they're going to see that, but uh, they might be clouded out a little bit. We're going down to Idaho, looks pretty good in our forecast. Good news there. All right, for tonight, we'll go with mostly cloudy for the early part of the evening. Then it'll clear out. Smoke's still hanging around, haze and whatnot, and warming up next week. Go back into the 90s. Dry conditions continue uh, for a lengthy time, uh, seven to maybe 10 days and beyond. You can see the smoke in the sky there for Hel uh, for Great Falls right now at 73 winds at about 11 miles an hour. Lewistown, where they're celebrating Cowboy Poetry Weekend, 32nd annual celebration there. Currently a pleasant 75, visibility to about 10 miles. In the 80s over towards Walla Walla, 75 for Lewistown, as we mentioned, an 87 for Mile City. So temperature wise, most of these locations are below average for today. Still a little breezy out there, but no gusty winds right now. And you can see uh, from Bozeman through Helena, we have an air quality alert until 9 o'clock tonight. It is just socked in there. So <sighs> hazardous air quality, or could call it dangerous. Don't want to do a lot of real heavy physical activity outdoors if you can delay that. Air quality index, what are we showing right now? Helena, unhealthful for sensitive groups and Great Falls, moderate. You get the idea. It's not pleasant out there. Visibility just down to six miles. Helena, 10 there for uh, Great Falls. And we look at our radar right now. Very quiet. No precipitation showing up. There's some of the clouds we're talking about. A little disturbance rolling through. Don't expect much in the way of precipitation, but we'll call it mostly cloudy for a good chunk of the evening. And then you see right behind this, it clears out nicely for tonight. So uh, as far as breezy conditions, well, we had that last night when that cold front came through. I don't think we're going to be super windy for uh, tonight or tomorrow. We look a little wider here under our future track. Uh, a couple of clouds moving through the region for this evening. Tomorrow, sunny start or hazy sunshine for tomorrow. And then uh, a beautiful afternoon. We'll see the temperatures actually stay below average again for tomorrow before we start to heat it up early next week. A few more clouds move in tomorrow night, but I think most of those will be out of here by the time we get into the eclipse mode. As uh, far as winds go, uh, along the high line, we'll keep an eye on that. If folks uh, near the border, maybe 10 to 20 mile per hour wind gust. Otherwise, we're going to stay pretty nice for tonight. Temperatures in the upper 40s, some areas low 50s, and you can see for tomorrow, low 80s across the region. How about 83 for Malta, 81 for Glasgow? Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Monday, as we mentioned, for the eclipse, looking good, mostly sunny, 84, and then we're back into the 90s during the middle of next week.